What's up everybody? It's Yeong Cure with a few more updates on Metal Gear Solid 5's latest theory. In this video, I'll be detailing a few other crazy coincidences involving Dr. Canavero. Before you watch this, I do recommend you watch my previous videos, in which I extensively detail the fan theory that the Doctor and Phantom Pain might have been modeled after Dr. Canavero, a real-life head transplant neurologist. Not only do they look identical and sound alike, but I also talked about how his head transplant research is called Heaven, like Big Boss's Outer Heaven, how the volunteer patient and subject, Valery Spiridonov, is a game developer, how Dr. Canavero did a TEDx talk about Heaven in Cyprus, which is where Phantom Payne's hospital scene is rumored to take place, how one of the sponsors for the TEDx talk was a gaming company called Wargaming, which is also based in Cyprus, how the tagline for the TEDx talk is everything you know is wrong, how the logo features V's like MGS5's Roman numeral, and how the logo shares a similar color scheme to MGS5's logo. How Dr. Canavero had already done work and research on phantom limbs and phantom pain. How one of the procedures for the Heaven Project is called Gemini, which is not only Latin for twins, but also the name of the African senator's bodyguards in Metal Gear Rising. How one of Dr. Canavero's books lists chapters with familiar terms to Metal Gear fans, such as Gemini, Heaven, Clone, and Frontier. Tears. How this heaven head transplant research is controversial, which goes in line with Kojima's statement that Phantom Pain would feature controversial topics and elements as well as taboos, and more. The list just goes on and on. Again, check out my previous videos for the full scoop. In this video, I'll be sharing a few other crazy coincidences that were spotted by NeoGAF users. Let's begin by revisiting the TEDx logo. As mentioned before, it shares a variety of resemblances to the MGS5 logo. But something that a NeoGAF user discovered is that if you take the red piece and move it to the left, it completes the image of a V, which has been a big symbol throughout Metal Gear Solid 5's many promotional materials. Something that I noticed is that the Phantom Pain logo has done something similar, which features slots that fit certain symbols to reveal the true nature of the title. Something else that was noted about the TEDx logo is that it looks very similar to the scar on Snake's left eye, featuring the same V shape with one or more short lines crossing one of the sides of the V. Next, let's take a look at this picture. This is apparently the transplant patient's Facebook cover picture that a NeoGAF user posted. To your right, you will find Valery Spiridonov, but more interesting is the person to the left. Notice how his right arm is a prosthetic that looks very similar to the one Big Boss has on his left arm, further leading fans to assume that there is some kind of connection between Phantom Pain and Dr. Canavero and his heaven research. Now, this one's interesting. Remember that poster of Phantom Pain from a while back showing a sort of X-ray vision of Snake? Notice how the head is the only part of Snake that is clearly being shown and detailed. Everything below is shown through this X-ray vision that almost makes the body look like a secondary thing. This has led fans to further suspect that head transplants may indeed be a part of Phantom Pain, with the assumption being that this further connects Metal Gear Solid 5 to Dr. Canavero and his Heaven research. Another NeoGAF user also noticed that Hideo Kojima tweeted something about Galaxy Express 999, which is apparently a sci-fi anime about how humans have learned to transfer their minds, but not their emotions, into mechanical bodies, thus achieving practical immortality, which falls in line with what Canavero is trying to do with head transplants. Hell, one of his books is called Head Transplantation and the Quest for Immortality. And speaking of the book, remember how one of the chapters is called The Big Chill? Well, that's also the title of a movie released in 1983 directed by Lawrence Kasdan. In September 4th of 2014, Twitter user at Film Title Screen posted a tweet about the movie. A NeoGAF user noticed that one of the people who retweeted this post was none other than David Hayter, the voice of Snake in previous Metal Gear entries. Next, I'd like to talk about the word Gemini. This word, which has multiple associations with the Metal Gear series, from the codename of the two African bodyguards in Metal Gear Rising, to the fact that Gemini is Latin for twins, was used by Dr. Canavero as a codename for a procedure for the Heaven Project. It not only appears on scientific articles involving his research, it also appears in his book, Head Transplantation and the Quest for Immortality. Now, what's crazy is that most recently, the word has made an appearance in Hideo Kojima's Twitter. Granted, the Gemini he was referring to is the new album from a band called The New Division, which comes out on June 23rd. But a lot of people are finding it hard to believe that it's a mere coincidence that this word popped up in Kojima's Twitter shortly after people began taking notice of Dr. Canavero and his Gemini procedure for the Heaven Project. Some have even gone as far as analyzing this tweet, theorizing that capitalized words like The New Division, Gemini, and Eyes could further hint at a connection with Metal Gear Solid 5. 
For example, people have associated the new division with Diamond Dogs or Outer Heaven, which are both new divisions of Big Boss's army that stemmed from MSF's downfall. And the way the tweet says single eyes has been associated to how Big Boss only has one eye. There are also those who took notice of the album's cover art. The art style, for example, has similar characteristics to some of the visuals found in Snake Eater. Furthermore, it was also noted that the album cover's twin figures share some resemblances to Snake, and the imagery of twin opposing forces stemming from the same source facing away from each other has been noted to be a frequently conveyed imagery throughout the Metal Gear series. Examples include Zero and Big Boss, who are in a sense clones in that they both stem from the boss's will, and Solid and Liquid, who both stem from Big Boss's DNA. Another suspicious activity from Kojima is that he retweeted this post showing Big Boss figurines in production. Notice how three of the pictures show Big Boss figurines with their heads attached, while one picture shows Big Boss figurines without their heads. These images by themselves already have fans contemplating that there might be some truth to head transplantation playing a role in Phantom Pain, but as if that wasn't enough, the date in which this was retweeted was April 22, 2015, only four days after the Dr. Canavero rumors went viral through NeoGAF. Many fans are thinking that the timing is too perfect for this to be a mere coincidence. Another important coincidence that people notice is that Dr. Sergio Canavero's name didn't really begin to surface on major outlets or make public appearances until 2013, which was the year in which The Phantom Pain was outed as Metal Gear Solid V The Phantom Pain. It was also in 2013 that the term Heaven, which stands for Head Anastomosis Venture, surfaced for the first time. Prior to 2013, you can find Dr. Canavero in a couple of scientific articles and research papers, but not much else. To prove the validity of these claims, I googled Dr. Canavero and his Heaven Project by filtering articles by year. When I googled Dr. Canavero in 2012, all I found about him from that year is that most of his research focused on central pain syndrome, with no trace of Heaven to be found. I then tried googling Dr. Canavero Heaven in 2012, and I only found two pages worth of results, and the handful of results that were related to Dr. Canavero's Heaven Project for some reason linked to stuff that was released in 2013. Now, when I filtered search results to the year 2013, again, the year in which Phantom Pain was revealed to be Metal Gear Solid V The Phantom Pain, the guy was literally everywhere, with most articles about him and his research being published between June and July of 2013. And as I mentioned in my previous videos, the date of submission for The Heaven Project was March 29th, 2013, two days after Kojima's GDC 2013 conference in which Phantom Pain was unveiled as Metal Gear Solid V The Phantom Pain. Crazy stuff, right? Now, these next coincidences are all ones that I think are a pretty big stretch. For example, fans noticed that one of Hideo Kojima's tweets was heading off. Get it? Heading off? There's also this picture showing the doctor holding up nine fingers, which fans have referenced to Phantom Pain's doctor's quote, I'm afraid it's been nine years. And here is this other picture showing Canavera holding up five fingers, which people have associated with Metal Gear Solid V. But human beings make all kinds of hand motions subconsciously while talking, so I doubt Dr. Canavera was sending secret messages with his hands. So there you have it folks, more crazy coincidences connecting Dr. Canavero to MGS5. In my honest opinion, I think these are all big crazy coincidences, especially with reports that the doctor plans to sue Konami and Kojima for allegedly infringing his likeness and his research. You can also find out about that in one of my previous videos. As I've mentioned before, the doctor was modeled after English actor Ian Moore. If you don't believe me, here is a close-up render of the doctor without his glasses. If we compare the render with the actor, you can see that they match up. Furthermore, Ian Moore actually speaks Japanese, Kojima's native language, and is based in Japan, so his casting makes much more sense. Not gonna lie though, I'm a bit shaken by how crazy some of these coincidences are. But if all of this really was some kind of PR marketing stunt, in my opinion, it would be far too elaborate for it to be worth the time and effort. It just doesn't make sense to cause this much confusion and commotion for fans in the press, especially now amidst troubling rumors of Kojima's imminent departure from Konami. What are your thoughts on the matter? Are there too many coincidences to ignore, or are people blowing this way out of proportion? Let us know in the comments below, and to be further updated on Metal Gear Solid 5, stay tuned on Yong Gear. I'll see you guys next time. Yong out.